We're excited to be celebrating 10 years of hosting the Minority Business Expo here in the city of Lexington. When you think about 10 years and what's happened over 10 years, the growth that our event has seen, we've grown in number of participants, we've grown in a uh, number of exhibitors, uh, we've had to change our venue several times and that's all because of the growth. Uh, that's exciting for Kentucky, that's exciting for Central Kentucky, and certainly exciting for Lexington. Uh, I think about the things that we've added over the 10 years, our one-on-one -on -one sessions that we've added have really been beneficial for a lot of community businesses, uh, an opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with key decision makers uh, and purchasing and procurement folks uh, have really helped to do more in economic inclusion in Central Kentucky. We've also seen, again, the growth of exhibitors. We, we've had to grow our venue for the exhibitor several times, and now as a result of that, each time it was because of capacity. And so now we're changing our format again this year uh, to be able to allow more exhibitors to participate in the event this year. This year with our mixer, we've decided to separate the one-on-one -on -one sessions from the actual mixer itself. So they will take place in advance of the mixer officially starting so that we didn't have people trying to be at two places at one time. Now they will be able to focus just on the one-on-one -on -one sessions and then stay on after hearing a great speech from Lauren Lake to participate in the mixer for the evening. Not only have we grown in number of participants for the expo this year, but we've also seen that we've grown in business participation, not only from Central Kentucky, but from other communities as well, from Louisville, from Indianapolis, from Detroit, Michigan. So we see companies participating from outside of the state coming in to help our businesses in the state. One of the things that I'm happy about doing too with the Minority Business Expo is expanding our reach to include our youth. We have to think about how we create a climate and an environment of entrepreneurship in Central Kentucky and reaching out to our youth and teaching them about being entrepreneurs at a very young age gives them the opportunity to see where they can actually grow their own businesses right here in Central Kentucky. I think about what my father taught me when I was at nine years old and our first ice cream store that we owned. Uh, that taught me about entrepreneurship. It taught me the importance of owning your own business and I think we need to share that information with our youth here in Central Kentucky. Over the 10 year period of time, we've had some dynamic speakers here in Central Kentucky. When you think about Chris Gardner, when you think about um, Pat Russell McLeod, when you think about George Frazier, uh, you think about Stedman Graham, uh, but we've also had speakers like Lauren Lake and Tammy Turner uh, and Stephen Hightower did an outstanding job helping businesses connect here in Central Kentucky. We've been blessed to have some wonderful speakers come to Central Kentucky over the years, and that tradition we hope will continue for many years to come. We've also had great names like Randall Pinkett, you know, one of the celebrity apprentices, come to our community. He's actually come back before, too. Uh, Oscar Robertson uh, has shared with us here in Central Kentucky. So that's a wonderful opportunity to bring in some great names, to be inspirational for uh, the people who come to our event because they get great information and inspiration on how to do well in growing their own businesses. You know, last year when Tammy Turner came and visited with us, she spent some time with the Expo Committee last year and it really helped us fine tune and sharpen our saw on what we need to do to better network to the community. And so the things that we learned from the committee standpoint, from what she shared, we're certain that that kind of information also translated to the businesses that came to hear her speak last year. She got great reviews in our evaluations and uh, we're just excited about that type of partnership and the way that speakers work with us here in Central Kentucky. You know, this year, we're not gonna be disappointed with our keynote speakers. Our luncheon keynote speaker this year, Miss Lisa Nichols, is a complete showstopper. You know, I talked to our speakers who've spoken before in the past, and it's interesting when you have people who are on that circuit to get their ideas and their opinions on individuals who are great speakers. It's interesting that George Frazier and Pat Russell McLeod both said very highly that Lisa Nichols is a complete showstopper. You don't want to miss her. When you think about her story, she really connects with our theme of perseverance over the 10-year period of time. She was rock bottom in her life. And when you hear her story and how she has now grown to a business that is now being traded publicly, that's a pretty significant accomplishment for an African-American woman-owned business. 
Over the years, we've, we've had those speakers that's really connected with our community. Lauren Lake came and shared with us in 2010, and since then, we have not stopped hearing about people who wanted to have her come back to Lexington. So this year, we're going to satisfy that appetite. Lauren Lake will come this year, and we're gonna do something different this year. This year, we're gonna have a mixer speaker, and Lauren Lake will get us started off as the mixer speaker this year. Shane and Sean Ward, these twins, these, these dynamos, been in Black Enterprise, very successful businessmen, from Detroit, Michigan originally, now living in New York. I really think they represent that young, passionate energy in trying to create your own businesses, that, that grit, that grind that makes you want to get out there and do it. And you'll hear from them their story and how they've made it in succeeding in business. When we think about over 10 years, what it takes to really put the Minority Business Expo together, we can't not recognize our sponsors. Our sponsors have been so supportive of us over the last 10 years, and, and we thank our sponsors for their continued participation in the event. Not only have we grown in number of participants, but we've also broadened our array of sponsors, and so we thank them for their support of our event over 10 years.